I think the escape by the American fugitive from Mothaiga police station compels me to make a comment. We all remember those few crooks who, who, who escaped from committee prison and were starving somewhere near Mwingi. I wanted to make comments to especially cell sentry, both at the police station level and in prisons. In Kenya, once somebody has been booked in the OB, Hata kama uko na tamaya nini kiasi gani please don't release that prisoner A former senior officer is telling you It is not worth it I know the pathetic fellows who ran away from committee and were caught somewhere in Mwingi and this pre-American Kenyan who escaped from Mothaiga police station, money was ex money exchanged hands. Uh, police have given us facts, but we have to appreciate the fact that uh, they have not given us all the facts. Why? Because one thing is that they have, they are still investigating. They still do not know everything, and still explaining everything. You never know who is watching. But the truth be told, if you find those people and you find the truth, is that I'll be very shocked to hear that 100,000 was given in either of the cases. Those uh, fugitives who ran away from committee and this fellow who ran away from Mothaiga. My own opinion, and I hope history will, uh, the future will come and prove me right, such people are given something not more than a hundred shillings, a hundred thousand shillings. I mean, for those who are not in Kenya, I think not more than one thousand dollars is given out, uh, either holistically or to an individual. And is it worth? First of all, is it worth losing a job for th that amount? With an added advantage that you will go to jail. But we have seen some people, and I have seen a lot of cases of that nature. The first one happened when I was still a rookie. Some people it is a mistake in joining the police. And in Kiganjo, their tips recruits are given. And you'll find those tips, those people who don't follow that, or they are not qualified to be police officers, and they ended up with the police, they are the ones who are caught with those Silly, minor mistakes. You can stand at the road, get your 50 shillings on the roadblock. You can go to Mama Pima, collect 20 shillings, 20 shillings. Imagine if you go to 50 Mama Pimas in a day, 
and each one of them gives you 50 shillings. That case, ha I'm trying to tell recruits and I'm telling police or serving officers that once an entry has been made in the OB, there's a saying in Kikuyu that even though the hyena is glatorious, glat uh, yeah, your minuscule. It can never eat its own child. There are some things hata uwe umeklala njami akasita. Don't just take. You take it, you are hey. Now let me give examples of those stupid mistakes that people have caused their police officers miserable lives. Some would even say that I've spent 29 days broke and I was just getting this thing. I have spent 29 years without, without a job and here I am, healthy. The first case I came across, APs, by then APs were over different. It's nowadays they are both with the National Police Service in the, with the Kenya Police in, in the National Police Service. Those days they used to be part of the administration. They had arrested, they, they had arrested a lorry driver at Marich Pass. And it had been booked in the OB. And then somebody there, as they were taking the vehicle to Kapenguri or Kitale, somebody reaches Chepareri on the way, gets the bribe and releases the vehicle. When already the OB and such things are going on. I was still a rookie and two police officers were sacked because of that. I am aware in 1988 when we had uh, when I was attending an inspector's course we had this case in Mombasa of uh, Zairian musicians who were dealing in foreign currencies they were arrested placed in the cells when they were placed in the cells they agreed to go and show where they had hidden the foreign uh, currencies. And when they went there, they produced the foreign currencies and they were, sh they were told, unajua na chapo na ambiwa, kibia, pana angalia nyuma. As the Zairians were running away, they find that uh, they were shot. And the police said that uh, they had pretended to, they had cheated us that they were going to show us where they had hidden money. And then, uh, Kumbe, they, they, had not, they had not hidden money anywhere. And they were running away, and that is when we shot them. That case went on for a long time. And one of the police officers had to be released because he was terminally ill with HIV AIDS there. I think you can remember that case. That one I'm telling police officers, any criminal, or any suspect who has been placed in the police cells, don't get anything from him or her in a form of uh, releasing him or her as a prisoner. Now, you, who has been arrested by the police and has been booked in the OB, let no devil, let no devil attempt you to tell you that give out money. Your name is already in the OB. Not only the OB, in the sales register. Don't ever uh, uh, entertain uh, an idea that you can buy yourself out or you can escape from 
the police custody you will hire you you will you will you will bribe the cell sentry the cell sentry could do a joey that is shoot himself and say maybe you snatched the gun from him and shot him and then ran away but so long as in the next five minutes you'll still be within the boundaries of kenya it is not worth it it is not worth it don't try and i admire the lady cousin of this fugitive she saw him coming to her place to the family place and she tipped the authorities to come and collect him. You know, he may have stayed in the U.S. for long. He may have stayed in the U.S. for long to an extent that he does not know the Kenyan police. Let me tell you, the next time you find yourself behind bars, now, assuming, and uh, this assumption is so strong because I believe that is what happened, The fellow is in Gong. He has bribed the cell sentry and he has run to Gong. So long as you cannot, in the next five minutes, if you can leave, if you have a personal jet waiting for you at the nearest primary school so that you run away from police custody or even prison custody and board up plane and leave Kenya in the next five minutes or before the alarm is sounded, you are doing zero work. Investigations will come and uh, establish when he ran away, when was the alarm made? You know, when you, the, the longer you stay, the longer you give the fugitive time to run away. If you, if you, if you make an alarm after 10 minutes, it's different from making an alarm after 10 seconds so we have to establish when he the alarm came out and you see most likely he bribed the cell sentry after bribing the cell sentry he may have even bribed even more so when the police were to, to find him at ngong because this time they did not find him it is his lady relative who knew what was happening, and I congratulate her. Because sooner or later, the police were to know that he was somewhere, whether it was at that Ngong place or any other place. They would go there. They would want to know how much he gave out in Mothaiga. Okay, he gave out, say, 100,000. Then they would say, that was a junior officer, a constable. Of course, there are two, so you gave 200,000. We are a squad of how many? A, a squad of uh, a dozen. Eh? So each one of us wants half a million. That is six million. Uh, he gives out that six million. And you see, the fool was in Ngong. Eh, Ngong sio jangwa. Ngong ni musito. His lady relative was wise. She knew that sooner or later that fellow will be Mboga Yafisi. So she did that. And uh, that is my piece of word. I would try to tell Kenyans or anybody having problems with the law, once you are placed in cells, so long as your name is in the OB, and uh, your name is in the OB, and your name is in cells, register just a bit with the courts 